It is Valentine's Day, and our Mary Calvi has a new book about a love story from part of our nation's history. This is a romance for the ages. Just in time for Valentine's Day, our Mary Calvi has unearthed long-lost love letters that offer a rare look into our history. They were letters exchanged by the future president, Teddy Roosevelt, and his little-known first love, Alice Lee. For Teddy Roosevelt, it was love at first sight. For Alice, she was playing hard to get. Mary showed us the letters at the Theodore Roosevelt they Birthplace National Historic Site in Manhattan. The family would gather here and... For decades, many historians thought all but a few of the letters had been destroyed. But Mary discovered them buried in archives at Harvard University. And what they reveal about one of our greatest presidents, whose face is immortalized forever on Mount Rushmore, is eye-opening. To see the love that Teddy Roosevelt had for her and the love she had for him, I was caught up in it. At the time, Roosevelt was a student at Harvard and Alice, a 17-year-old socialite from a prominent Boston family. My dearest Teddy Kins, and she goes on to say, I shall have you here Saturday night. I shall not let any other look at you as I shall want you all to myself. In another, Roosevelt writes, My dearest love, I worship you so that it seems almost desecration to touch you. And yet, when I am with you, I can hardly let you a moment out of my arms, my purest queen. He ends it by saying, goodbye, my own heart's darling, your loving Thee. She called him Thee. The letters so form the basis for Mary's on. latest historical fiction book, If a Poem Could Live and Breathe, a novel of Teddy Roosevelt's first love. There I was with the original Gilded Age love letters and feeling very close and intimate and almost as if I was intruding. Teddy and Alice did end up getting married, but like so many love stories, this one has a tragic ending when fate forces Roosevelt to go on without his dear Alice. Alice Lee has been dismissed and disparaged and really erased from history, but she had so much to say and she deserves to be heard. And here's this tease. If you wanna know what happened to Alice, you'll have to read Mary's book. You can get an excerpt over to InsideEdition.com.